Well, if you were around for Hurricanes Katrina or Gustav, an evacuation tactic used then was contraflow. That was in 2005 and 2008, but we haven't seen that happen since. And that has caused many of you to sit in bumper to bumper traffic leaving the area. And Meg Ferris is joining us live with an evacuation update for this particular hurricane season. Meg. And Katie and Sharice, we all know that feeling all too well. You know, in the next few weeks, there are going to be more anniversaries of life-changing major hurricanes than any of us care to count. And there's some people who, as you said, going forward, are concerned about evacuations and safety for this upcoming hurricane season as those infamous dates approach. I had friends that were stuck on the highway, and the guy jumped out with a gun and intimidated the ones that was in line so that he could get in front of everyone. And it was the question of this one woman who lives in the Upper Ninth Ward that pulled Homeland Security and emergency managers from several parishes together Monday morning. Deborah Campbell of A Community Voice wondered what happened to Contraflow during all the hurricane evacuations over the last 14 years. So she contacted State Representative Matthew Willard and the Contraflow Task Force was created. If you have, whether it's a hurricane or any type of storm that's fixing to devastate your area, you're trying to get people to evacuate. Don't wait for Contraflow. The Louisiana Department of Transportation explained that there are very specific criteria, like hurricane position and strength guidelines, mandatory evacuations, and advanced timelines of when it is physically feasible to move everyone in place and change hundreds of traffic signals to trigger contraflow. That must be 72 hours before stronger winds hit the coastline. This task force wants to see if there's a way to be more flexible on when contraflow can be enacted. We are below poverty level, so a lot of our people can't afford to get out early, and that makes a hardship. And those contraflow plans made back in the Katrina days need to be updated as storms in the last few years intensify later in the track and much more quickly. Now we have to take that same initiative and that same um, sense of urgency and do the same thing for the, the Loras, the Deltas, the Idas, the Zetas, these storms that literally go from a Category 2 to a Category 4 in six hours. It's challenging. And some want a siren warning. We've had a death in Araby because of a tornado. He was coming home from work. He had no idea that this area was in danger, and he was killed. And the people down in Arby remember that all too well. Okay, now Contraflow now is going to direct you north, not east and west. So you're going to go over to 55 if you're going west, and you're going to go over to 59 if you're going east. And also, there is no Contraflow in southwest Louisiana because the state believes that it's just not densely populated enough to need Contraflow. Reporting live from downtown near the I-10, Meg Farris, Eyewitness News.